U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs Secretary Robert McDonald and U.S. Senator John Cornyn are meeting with veterans groups in the Valley Monday to hear firsthand how to better meet their health care needs. Many local and state leaders will be joining them, including Governor Greg Abbott. Some leaders say services for veterans in the Valley have improved. In the past, everybody would have to go to San Antonio. Now you got more services that are provided at hospitals, doctors, and a lot more services here, and I think that's good for the uh, veterans. According to the Texas Valley Coastal Bend health care system data, the number of Valley veterans traveling to San Antonio for health care has declined dramatically over the past few years. My dad was a disabled American veteran, a veteran of foreign wars. I, I drove him to San Antonio many, many times. Senator Eddie Lucio Jr. says there are many issues that need to be addressed. So that's what our veterans are. There are men and women who are, who are extremely dedicated uh, in their lives, have been very dedicated and um, have represented as well in the past and now it's our time to take care of them. According to a report issued earlier this month by the VA Office of Inspector General, thousands of veterans listed in the Department of Veterans Affairs enrollment system died before their applications for care were processed. Now as this continues to be investigated, many people see veterans with several other issues daily. We see uh, veterans who have applied for disability benefits, uh, experiencing you know, very long delays uh, in the, the decision-making process, and then in many instances, uh, unjust results. U.S. Representative Filimon Vela says since the new VA secretary came into place, there has been a large improvement, but there are still many problems that need to be resolved. The reality is, is that um, you know, our, our VA system should be providing 100% uh, care to our veterans. The VA recently opened a new clinic in McAllen to provide better access to specialists. More services are provided here locally, more money is provided to the local economy, and that becomes a win-win for not only for our local economy, but especially for the veterans because they're getting services at home.